G'day, this is Jason from OBDX Pro and today I'm going to be demonstrating how to read a PCM tune using PCM Hammer with an OBDX Pro cable. So first off, you're going to need to download PCM Hammer. It can be done from the Microsoft Store or also directly from the GitHub page, which we have the link up here as well as in the description below. Uh, from here, once you get to this page, you'll see if you scroll down, we get a whole bunch of information about what's been added and changed as well as if we go down we'll eventually get to the PCM Hammer. Uh, in this uh, case we're currently able to release 20 and we have PCM Hammer 20.zip. I've already downloaded that and extracted it and so you will see something like this here. And then we need to actually go ahead and go to the EXE which is, here we go, here it is, the PCM Hammer.exe. This one is for what we use for reading and writing. So go ahead and open that up. So I already have our OBX Pro VT connected and it's automatically detected and initialized. But when you haven't done that the first time, click select device, make sure you select serial port device, select your COM port, it should say OBX Pro Serial, COM7, mine's COM7, yours might be a different COM port. And make sure we definitely obviously got uh, the correct device selected here, so OBX Pro. Uh, once done, you press OK, it will initialize the device. Next, we can go ahead and try and read the actual ECU. There we go, we can get some information about it. And then next, we need to read. Uh, so we need to actually read the tune. Uh, this is the first step you should ever do before you attempt um, doing anything to the ECU. Don't use a random file off the web. Make sure you're definitely actually reading your engine computer's memory and, and editing only that. So we go ahead and select here, read entire PCM. I'm just gonna call this, to see here I've already got a couple other files, but I'm just gonna call this PCO, uh, PO1, we'll just call it two. So this is going to be our original file, click save. Has it been uh, powered on for at least 10 seconds? It has, this is an important step, so make sure it's been on for at least 10 seconds before you continue. I'll just press continue now. Now I'm going to go ahead, upload the kernel to allow us to start reading, and there we go, we're now starting to read. So not much else is happening when you're looking at this main box here. We do have some updates down at the bottom. You can see it actually reading the different locations and hex a bit of a speed and also the estimated time remaining here. If you wanted to see something a bit more going on, you can see a whole bunch of raw data happening here. Um, but uh, from now, it's just a matter of waiting for it to complete. It usually takes around just a bit over two minutes uh, with the VT. And once that's completed, it will do its, uh, its finalization routines. And from there, we can then use that file for actually making edits using free applications such as Tuner Pro. Uh, next video we'll go through showing you how to write that tune in and what happens while, while actually writing and what to expect. Key things here to note is I'm using a bench setup here. Uh, it's currently set at 13 volts. I'd usually recommend 14. And um, it's just to ensure that we have a constant uh, power, a constant voltage and plenty of amps available because the issue does need that when it's reading and writing otherwise it can result in a corrupted flash. Uh, PCM Hammer does uh, attempt to detect if something's failed on the writing procedure which we'll see when we get to our next video uh, but it definitely is uh, recommended to, to make sure you have a very good uh, power supply or if doing it in car make sure you have a good uh, power supply uh, attached to the battery to, to make sure it doesn't drain while reading because a couple minutes is quite a solid time. Alright, coming into our last little bit here. It's also worth the note, make sure you keep a backup of the original file. So when you go to edit, make sure you're using a copy of your original. So in the event that you need to go back to your original, you have that still. So you always should always should have a copy of your original file. So here we go, it's checking the actual file against that's been read against what's in the ECU to make sure it's valid. Clearing some fault codes and that's it. So about two minutes and 12 seconds it took and we now have our red tune. So again, from here, we can load that up in a free editor such as Tuner Pro with a, a XDF file which has a compatible uh, operating system to edit it. Make our changes and then open it up back in uh, PCM Hammer to, to write back in. Uh, but that's it for now. Um, I'll go through another video for writing uh, soon. But please feel free to leave comments below. Otherwise, we'll speak soon.